Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby, and today we're taking a look at the Dutton Lanson Single Speed Hand Winch with a 600 pound weight capacity here at eTrailer.com. Now, this is going to be a pretty decent way for you guys to either start hauling some utility items on your trailer or predominantly, what I think a lot of us are going to be utilizing it for, is hauling our boats up onto our trailer. So, taking a look at this little guy right here, of course, we are going to have that single speed action. Basically what that means, we are gonna be locked right in here on this single shaft. Now we are gonna get a 3.2 to one gear ratio. All that really means is actually turning your winch 3.2 times with this handle is gonna rotate that drum once. Now, unfortunately our winch doesn't actually come with any straps or cables. Those do need to be purchased separately. Now those are available here at eTrailer.com. We have a variety of them. And I'm actually gonna show you guys later on how to get the strap we have here installed. Now this two inch polyester strap can be excellent for your boats though, as a lot of people like that polyester polyester as it doesn't interact badly with the whole of our boats. So our winch here today is going to have a 600 pound weight capacity. Now with that we do have about a 1200 pound boat on here. Now this is probably the bare minimum I would actually want to use this winch for. And a good rule of thumb is to go ahead and at least take half of the weight of your boat and make sure that your capacity rating is at least to half of it. Now I always recommend and if you're looking for convenience factor at least go to about three quarters of your boat weight. That way it's a little bit easier and you have that safety knowing that your winch is ready to handle it. Personally, I would look at upgrading just to, again, kind of make it a little safer for ourselves and a heck of a lot easier, which is gonna be nice. So with our ratchet pawl set to the upwards position towards our gears, this is gonna allow me to ratchet this and tighten up my strap, pulling up my boat, of course. Now, if I wanted to release it, all we really need to do, give a little bit of pressure there on that handle. That allows you to move this ratchet down. And now by clearing my hand, I can actually free, free spool this and run it down to the end of my trailer. Now the handle itself is just gonna be kind of a hardened plastic, it has a little bit of ergonomic design, becomes pretty easy to grab onto. Now maybe with a little bit of wetness on here though, it might be a little harder. It's not really that textured, um, not like some of the other ones I've seen out there. Some of them have some nice little rubber padding. Now this hardened plastic is gonna work great, but keep in mind, it might be a little harder to grab onto. Well, now that we have a good idea of how it works and what it can do, let's see how we can get it installed. To begin your installation, what you need to do, of course, remove that older winch that we might have on our own boat trailer or utility trailer. Now, with that being said, hopefully you guys actually can retain that hardware from your older set, as we actually don't have any that comes with us. So, if you guys don't have an older, or maybe your hardware has actually been just kind of degraded, we may need to pick ourselves up some bolts. Now, all we need is gonna be a 3 8 diameter bolt. Now, the length, probably not gonna be the biggest issue for ourselves, but we need do need to make sure we get through our mounting plate and our bottom plate here, you guys can see though these guys really aren't that long so it's not going to be too crazy to get this installed now with our bolts in hand we want to take a look at our mounting plate here as you can see we pretty much have those universal cuts and a lot of the trailer winches you're going to see out there now for us today it looks like we do have good two holes to use now this may require just a little bit of custom drilling at home for yourself just into that frame of your trailer let's of course make sure we're not staying too close to the sides and getting a good contact point but then i just need to slot this bolt in it can be a little difficult but just give yourself a little patience and time and you'll get it in. So now we just need to add our back washers on here and our nuts on the other side. Now the washers are gonna be up to you guys. I suggest getting washers for either side of it. Just makes it a little easier to make sure that's nice and secure. Of course, so as long as we have one pair in our bolts, we should be a-okay. With our tools in hand, we can just begin to tighten it up. To get our handle installed, we simply remove the nut with just our hands and then we can slot it on by finding the angle that's going to allow our lever to be put in place and then we just need to re-add our nut and of course run it down with a three-quarter socket. Well now that our handle's installed it's time to add in our strap or our cable. Now a variety of these are going to be found available here at eTrailer.com. Today I'm just going to be using, utilizing the Dutton Lanson 15 foot by 2 inch polyester strap to go ahead and get here on my boat. To do that we just simply need to bring ourselves down here on the inside, grab the included hardware and get it installed. Let's do that together. Now we were going to go ahead and install this guy, however the bolt that comes with it is just a little bit too big to actually fit in our smaller winch. So we may need to pick ourselves up a one quarter inch diameter bolt to go ahead and actually slot through um, that necessary size requirement for ourselves. Of course, let's make sure we are grabbing a nut, of course, to go ahead and actually get this in. Now these, of course, can be found at a local hardware store and that length of that bolt probably need to be about two and three quarters of an inch long because we actually don't have too much room in the winch. Let's go ahead and get it in place. So we simply take our bolt and slide it through and make sure that th those threadings is towards our gear housing side because we want our nut towards the gears. 
And we can just start this by hand threading it and then getting it on. Now that your strap is installed, simply pull it in so we can reduce the size of it and get it nice and spooled up. Well, with our strap installed, all we need to do is actually hook that hook into that tow strap on our boat, swap our ratchet to the right position, tighten it up, and there we are, ready to rock and roll. I think that about does it for our look here today at the Dutton Lanson single speed hand winch with a 600 pound weight capacity rating. I'm Bobby, thank you for watching.